I love uh, a rural church. I find them very, very calming places. Village churches sit at the center of rural communities. It's the landscape is absolutely dotted with them. And each of those churches at some point has been the center of the community in which it sits because that's why they're there. They're not just places of worship, they are buildings which can be creatively used. Very welcoming, calm, peaceful spaces where you meet people and bring communities together. And since the pandemic really, you know, that sense of community has become incredibly important. Churches were at the forefront really of looking after people and providing that sense of sort of um, being that everybody craves. You know, people wanting to help other people. The need for social interaction has become much more obvious and that, that can all be provided by rural churches. People are also moving out of towns and cities, aren't they, to rural communities to seek this kind of life. So it feels like a, a moment. And how village churches thrive is really a practical guide on how to make churches like this the center again of the communities that they serve. 10 key areas really uh, in which small changes can make an enormous difference. You know, the churchyard itself is a, is a green space full of wildlife um, which could be used to draw people in. So clearly throughout the Church of England there are people in, in rural areas and small rural churches who are working tirelessly to try and make those churches work for the community. So this book is really an attempt to support those people by giving them ideas that they might not have thought of or areas they might not have thought of and written by experts who have found that those things work in the churches uh, to which they belong. But the reason I was very pleased to write this forward, actually, is because I think this is a real moment for rural churches now, because the world is changing again. Rural churches, to me, really, are like bulbs in the ground, you know, they're just sort of waiting to burst forth again. <laughs>